Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from EasyRodAutomation.com and welcome to another video of our Test Rigger video series. And in this video, we'll be talking about the Chrome extensions available in Test Rigger for performing automatic record and playback of your test in Test Rigger. We already know that Test Rigger by itself is not going to let us write any code like programming code on the platform. Rather, we just are going to type everything like in plain English text, and it's going to perform the operation for us using the artificial intelligence and machine learning. But even that plain text is also going to be generated automatically for us using the test triggers Chrome extensions, which is quite interesting and cool. I'm pretty excited to show that. So let's flip to our test suite and see how it actually works. So far within our course, we have been discussing about many different options in the test suite something like this and now i'm just going to create a test suite especially for the record and playback so record and playback something like this and i'm probably going to automate uh, one of my website which is going to be very simple to go with so let's go with that and i'm just going to leave everything as it is instead of generated code i'm just going to choose as zero over here and you can see that it is going to start things up for us, which is quite normal. And all these days we have been doing this add custom test cases to create the test case for us over here. But instead, this time we are going to be using one of the resource available in the test trigger, which is nothing but the Chrome extensions. So once you click this Chrome extensions, it is going to let you add the Chrome extensions if you have not added already within your Chrome. But I have already added it. That's the reason it's showing me the remove from Chrome. And you can see that I already have the Chrome extension for the test trigger over here. So I'm just going to make use of that. That's it. It's so easy and so simple. So how do I record and start doing the record and, record and playback operation? All I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the my, to my site and I'm going to click this guy, the Chrome extension. You will see that it is going to bring you up this one, the start new recording. I'm going to click this start new recording and that's it. You can see that it is flickering there, which means it is ready for you to accept all the commands that you're going to be entering over here. So I'm going to say the username is admin password is going to be password and I'm going to hit the uh, login button over here. I'm going to go to the employee list and then I'm going to click this create new and I'm going to say uh, Chrome ext user one something like that uh, and i'm gonna say salary as 12 work our 12 grade uh, so chrome user at gmail.com something like that i'm gonna hit create that's it the user has been created for some reason i have to delete these databases uh, and the employee details and then i'm gonna hit log off that's the operation which i have did over here so now if i click this test trigger you will see that there is going to be a stop recording button. And once I do that, it is going to show me all the operations that I have performed over here. So these operations are actually going to be the operation that I have actually performed on this particular UI. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose one of the test suite where I need to add this particular test case, which is nothing but the record and playback test suite. And once I click this, add and run, you will see that the test case is going to be added for you on that particular test suite. And if I go back there and you can see that the test suite is being added, let me just cancel and click this edit test case so that we can see what it has uh, recorded. You will see that it is doing exactly the same thing. Click login, enter the admin, the username, enter password in the password, click the employee list, blah, blah, blah. And there we go. Update and rerun the test. That's it. This is so simple. This is how you could able to perform a record and playback operation using test triggers on Chrome extension available for you. This is pretty cool and very, very helpful for us to write the test in much easier fashion.